if it wasn't obvious, this video does include spoilers, so if you haven't watched episode 7 of Murder Drones, what are you doing? It came out like a week ago, go watch it. Up until the recent Murder Drones episode 7, we haven't known a lot about Nori. However, episode 7 does give us a very big deep dive into Nori as a character. I honestly didn't know that Nori was going to be a part of this show, mostly just a icon that Uzi looks up to and we never get to really see. However, episode 7 definitely changed my mind. I keep seeing a lot of people mention how Nori is probably dead, however, However, I don't really see how this connects because if you think Nori is dead, you might as well think V is also dead because both their quote unquote deaths were off camera. Along with the fact that Nori just got introduced and to kill off a brand new character wouldn't really give any sentimental value or purpose to the audience or TV show. So if Nori's dead, then that's just bad writing. So I'm going to continue this video without even addressing the fact that Nori might be dead because she is not and you can't prove me otherwise. Anyway, this video will basically just do a dive into what Nori's backstory could be along with how she could have survived the attack from the murder drones and come back. Now before episode 7 aired or came out, we didn't know a lot about Nori. All we knew is that she was dead, she was Uzi's mom, her name was Nori, and something happened to her or she did something that was really bad. However, episode 7 uncovers a very layered and complicated character. It is revealed that she was the first host for the Absolute Solver, excluding Sin, whichever way you want to look at that. However, before being able to absolutely obliterate the planet, she was stabbed in the head with a patch. This patch would eliminate the Absolute Solver without getting rid of the cool powers it gives you. With the help of Yeva, they were able to defeat or at least delay the Absolute Solver's plans, however the core of the planet still implodes and they are skyrocketed to the surface along with the other worker drones that are now free. Khan and Nora get married, I think. I don't really know how marriage stuff works in the drone world. Between the point in time where Uzi is created, and by created I mean the baby pill phase, which if you are confused on, I do have a video on it on my channel. I'll link a card on your top right of your screen, so definitely go check that out after this video. Also subscribe. Between the time point of Uzi being created in the untrained neural network thing and Nori dying, we have no idea what happens. The only thing we know about are the murder drones coming to Copper 9, which kills Nori and Yeva. However, between this point in time, we probably get to see Nori going a bit insane because her memories aren't exactly fully intact, however, she still knows what's going to happen and that the murder drones are coming. This causes her to make crazy drawings, which we get to see in her closet. However, Nori still dies after failing to convince her husband, Khan, to build a door. This is where I finally get to answer the question that has been plaguing my comments in my past videos. How did Nori come back? And I honestly find the answer pretty obvious, so... While Solvesa, or the very thing that we thought was Tessa but was actually Sin, starts eating Doll's body, we get to see her crush a sort of core. We got to also see not only Nori take the form as in that episode, but also see in episode 2 when the Absolute Solver fixing up program for the murder drones is at its weakest. This probably means that all the drones with the Absolute Solver code naturally develop a sort of core that is alive. Most worker drones wouldn't have a portable core or just a core with fleshy gooey stuff around it with legs because they are normal worker drones. However, the worker drones infected with the Absolute Solver would have this because it's like an instinct or like a biological add-on or upgrade. This core would be kind of a plan B if the worker drone or just drone in general is in a dire situation and is about to die. It's like it's a backup system. This leads to multiple things. One, Doll isn't coming back because her core is gone, poor Doll. But this also gives us the answer on how Nori survived. We know that Nori was killed by her husband Khan out of pity when she was slowly dying by the nanite acid that the murder drones have in their tail. And I really doubt that Khan would absolutely destroy her core. More likely, he just stabbed her in the head and thinking that she was dead ran away. And although this was probably true, the backup core system booted up and she was able to somehow make her way down to the Cabin Fever Labs, knowing that this was her only way to stop it because the murder drones were already there. Then the show events actually start happening, episodes 1 through 6 happen, episode 7 happens, Uzi gets to fight her mom and absolutely gets 200 pumped. Nori is kicked down into the bottomless pit and she's not dead, like I said at the beginning of the video, and that's pretty much it. Now I know this video is a bit short, however I am probably working on a really long video, or at least long for this channel that's going to come out next week. It's a Meta Runners, the TV show made by Glitch, review. And honestly, you should definitely go check out that show. It's a really good show, really underrated, which is why I am reviewing it. So turn on your notifications so you can stay posted for that. Stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.